Hi there, it's time to look at reports. The idea behind Blaze Meter Reports is to, uh, it, should be, it should be easy on the eyes, it should be easy to understand, it should be easy to share, right? So how do I make uh, this more accessible to more people so we can get to the bottom of things quickly? Right? So in this case, we've run a test, and we were doing, uh, we were preparing for DockerCon, and we wanted to make sure that we could scale up a certain sort of uh, Docker pod we built uh, to run a demo app. And this is the summary tab. So you're looking at, and we'll drill into these in info tabs in a sec, but the idea with the summary tab is, uh, this is my sort of my dashboard. I want to see kind of the high-level uh, summary of everything. And, and I've got some, some stats along the top. How big was the test? What was the average throughput? Were there errors? What was the response time? Um, how much was the bandwidth? Some stats about how long it ran and where it ran from. But the main thing to look at this page are these two graphs, right? We have this load graph here, and we have this response time graph. And the blue line there is the increased number of users that we've ramped up through. The little uh, red line at the bottom is errors, and the green line on the load one is the amount of hits per second we're getting. And you can see that when we ran this test, it as we added users, we got more and more hits per second. This was great. Well, right about here, even though we kept adding more users, we didn't get more hits per second. Notice how the, the green line just kind of goes sideways here. So after you've been running for a while, you could look at this graph and right away know, wow, this system gets congested partway through this load profile. Like right at this point here, we pretty much have kind of gotten the most we're going to get out of the system. And when we throw more users at it, we're not getting more hits per second. And when we look over here on the response time, we'll see um, this is going to make sense. As we were adding more users and we stopped getting more hits per second, what happened was the response time just got longer and longer and longer. So that's that yellow line there is the response time, right? No one wants a nine second, you know, 9,000 milliseconds is nine seconds. No one wants a nine second response time, right? So this was not how we really wanted to be. And and I will, uh, I'll, I'll sort of jump ahead to another part of the demo we're going to do in a bit, but we can compare different test runs really easily in Blaze Meter, right? And so here's the absolute worst case scenario we did where we got users, we've got sort of hits per second maxed out right at the beginning and things just went totally sideways from there and errors went crazy and you know this is obviously really bad but let's look at what we wanted to see which was a test run where lo and behold as our users were added our load kept going up and our response time was beautiful it was pretty much just sideways and even at its little peak here when I'm up it was 2.7 seconds it's a little long but basically we got through this whole test and did really really well so that wraps up this overview of the summary tab now in the next video we'll go through the additional information you can get in the report join me there